Speaking out, immigrant activists take to the streets of Baltimore to protest what they call unfair immigration policies. WJZ is live. Amy Yancey has more on the calls for Maryland leaders to step up. Amy? Well, just people at the rally tell WJZ that pa uh, families are being split up left and right and that immigrant communities need more protection. A show of unity. People of all ethnicities and faiths surround Baltimore's Washington Monument with one clear message. No ban, no wall. Pushing back against President Trump's revised travel ban meant to keep terrorists out of the U.S. The new policy bars new visas for people from six predominantly Muslim countries and temporarily stops the U.S. refugee program. No ban, no wall. The original ban sparking protests at airports across the country, including BWI. Why even have one? Why we can't just work together and unite? Why would we have to ban our, our brothers and sisters? Casa de Maryland helped organize the rally. The Latino and immigrant organization says the president's plan to build a wall along the U.S. and Mexican border and a recent spike in deportations unfairly targets immigrants. This issue is personal and it's affecting families right here in Baltimore and throughout the state of Maryland. Last week, Maryland joined four other states in a lawsuit seeking to block the travel ban. This is part of a greater uh, culture of fear that occurs and is occurring right now in this country. Casa is calling for a law limiting the state's role in deportations. Advocates also want to keep immigration agents away from public hospitals, courts, and schools. This has to stop. Uh, our families can't continue to be divided in this way. And organizers tell WJZ they're getting lots of calls from families worried about deportation. Reporting live tonight, Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News. Back to you, Jess. Amy, thanks. The revised travel ban takes effect on March 16th.